Hello everyone, if you are an employer and if you do want to increase the engagement in your organization, stay tuned because today we're talking about how to increase your employees engagement and more precisely how to make your people own your company or your organization. This is Jim Panos, a commercial career coach. I help and inspire professionals across the globe to find their passion at work and transform organizations through well-being. And I'm accredited and certified by the largest coaches organization in the world, ICF, International Coaches Federation. And I'm the creator of the Find Your Passion Method, a unique coaching tool that has helped professionals across the globe to find their passion at work. And my vision is to inspire 3 billion people in 125 countries by 2060 to find their passion at work. Because I really believe everyone does deserve to be passionate at what they do. And part of this is, of course, uh, the engagement. Okay? Uh, we do want to bring um, well-being into uh, the corporate world and into the organizations. And thanks for watching this. Feel free anytime to comment on this video, agree, uh, uh, whether you agree or disagree, feel free to share this with anyone you believe they might benefit from, feel free to give us some thumbs up if you do like this video, uh, and uh, and of course subscribe to our channel if you want to have access to much more valuable content. So let's dive in right away. How can you engage your uh, people? Uh, how can you boost uh, your people's engagement and more precisely? How can you do that through ownership, okay? So, uh, first of all, uh, why is it important? Because when your people uh, feel that they do own the company, okay, and they take responsibility uh, for it, then uh, <laughs> their productivity, uh, you know, is dramatically improved uh, and same applies uh, for customer uh, service, uh, same applies uh, for uh, for your organization's profitability, and you know they tend to stay longer in your organization because uh, they just feel that you know the company is uh, a part of themselves, and they feel that they own you know uh, it. So uh, that's why it's important. And of course, uh, as a result of this, um, as long as they stay, you make sure that your top talent stays, and that has uh, you know uh, as a, as a great benefit. Um, attracting new talent, new top talent, okay, because always uh, top talent attracts top talent. So there are uh, plenty of benefits. So keep your focus here because great things are coming. So uh, first of all, what is the model, okay, to, you know, uh, boost uh, your people's engagement? So generally, uh, it consists of seven key elements and these uh, are uh, relationships. Uh, these are uh, companies' culture, okay, or my company as I call it. These are, uh, these are um, freedom, okay? These are uh, compensation, workplace, okay? Ownership and development, okay? Personal and career development. So today, let's focus on ownership. So, uh, uh, what is ownership? First of all, so, what is ownership? So, first of all, you know, uh, let's take the tangible, okay? Which is equity okay you uh, you know it's great if you give them opportunities to literally own the company you know uh, have some uh, shares of the company okay even uh, you know in the long term doesn't matter but give them this opportunity you know uh, that would be you know a great tangible uh, idea of of creating ownership okay so uh, this is the number one number two is progression so ownership is is also about giving your people the opportunities to progress, okay? And that means to take higher levels of responsibility and, um, and create their own teams and deliver higher value to you, okay, and your, your organization. And the third part that is included in ownership is initiatives. So, yes, it's also about uh, how, uh, you know, how, uh, how easy uh, is for them to take initiatives, okay? Do you have, uh, you know, uh, just um, uh, policies focusing on compliance, or do you, you know, uh, apply okay, strategies and tools that do um, encourage in initiatives, excuse me, and creativity? Okay, so um, what you can do, okay, what you can do precisely. So, uh, in terms of uh, of the progression and equity, 
uh, be very clear uh, in terms of the criteria, okay? What are exactly the criteria for someone to progress from the very, very be be you know, beginning, okay? And the second part, the second thing that uh, you can do and you must do, in my opinion, is communicate them effectively, okay? The fact that they are there and they exist doesn't mean that uh, your people are aware of, of the criteria, no. So communicate them, you know, uh, you know, uh, quite often, okay? Not just in the deduction, but, you know, constantly, okay? To remind, uh, uh, to remind them the value of your company, okay? Uh, th this is very, very important. And number three, you need to create a workplace where um, initiatives take place, okay? So this is very, very important. And how can you uh, do that? So three things, okay? Three key principles for you to uh, to listen to and apply, okay? Because it's all about application. So number one is um, transmit them the growth mindset. And that means that failure is learning, okay? So encourage them to try out new things and doesn't matter if they fail because they will learn something and you will have some great insights and you start you know, and you just uh, move on from there, okay? So encourage that, encourage that. And this is how you encourage creativity. And once you encourage creativity, you encourage innovation, okay? Which is uh, one of the most important things for a company to grow um, and succeed, okay? So uh, this is the one thing. The other thing that uh, you can do is uh, transmit, again, the mindset uh, that... The best ideas win. That means, okay, uh, no matter how hard it might be for you, that you might be wrong, okay? And you might not know everything, okay? And your leaders might be wrong, and your managers might be wrong, and everyone who uh, has, you know, a senior uh, role in the company or who's more experienced doesn't mean that, uh, you know, uh, they, you know, that their opinion is the best, okay? So give, give to your people the opportunity not only to express their uh, opinions, but uh, to have actually a voice. And that means that if their idea is the best uh, and the criterion is for you know the interest of your organization, then let it be, okay? Let it be. It's not about ego. It's about your company's uh, uh, growth, okay? So that is the most important thing that you also to remember, okay? And number three, uh, the third part that you can do is uh, offer freedom, okay? And by freedom, I mean two things. First of all, what not to do, don't micromanage them, okay? Uh, and uh, you need to pass this message to your managers and your uh, leaders, okay? And to your team. Uh, stop micromanagement and give them uh, flexibility uh, and freedom in terms of, uh, of how they would achieve the results that you want, okay? Because... Um, the, you know, it's all about the result and the outcome. It's not ab about specifically the how you will do it, okay? Yes, some things can apply, but that doesn't mean that they can apply for everyone and they are equally effective, okay? Uh, so this is, um, this is the one thing, what not to do. But what you can do, give them uh, time, okay, uh, in, on, on a weekly basis to take on... Uh, projects that they are passionate about, okay, uh, to take something that, you know, uh, it's quite interesting, to, uh, you know, uh, interesting for them, okay, and it could be 5%, you know, uh, of, you know, of their week, 20%, 10%, 30%, you know, uh, uh, doesn't matter, what does matter is you need to give them uh, space, okay, in terms of time and uh, literally the opportunity to uh, work on their own uh, ideal environment on the projects that they want okay uh why is this important because in this way uh they will be able to uh they will be uh they will feel free okay and uh and encouraged okay by your actions as a leader to take initiatives and as i told you before innovation is key okay so this is it i hope that you did enjoy this uh, video and if you did like our video give us a like here and to our facebook page jim panos coaching uh, remember to subscribe to our uh, channel, of course, and feel free to share this with anyone you believe they might benefit from. Because I really believe everyone, you know, every employee uh, can own the company they work for. Okay, you need to find, of course, the right match, but 
uh, these are uh, these are uh, a few things that you can uh, straight uh, implement. Take care.